Welcome back friends in MS Excel Masterclass video series. Today in this video we are going to learn how to do formatting in MS Excel. Okay. So basically doing formatting involves two of the groups under home tab which is font and alignment as you can see in my screen. Okay. Under font and alignment a lot of tools are there and in this video particularly we will focus on font group. Correct. So I have listed down all the tools under font group and I will discuss one by one. These three, which is bold, italic and underline tools are the most important and basic formatting tools. Okay. Shortcut key for bold is control plus B, italic control plus I and for underline it is control plus U. So these uh, shortcut keys can be used by keyboard. You don't need to involve your mouse for it. That's why I have written. Okay. Let's start with bold. If you want to make bold to this particular cell, you just need to be in this cell and you need to click the B option, which is present in font group tools. Once I click here, you will find it has changed to bold letters. Okay. In this manner, you can make headings for your projects. Similarly, for italic and underline, you just need to be there in this cell and you just need to press I. In the font group you will find it has changed to italic similarly for underline u underline button is there you just need to click it you will find the difference that it has got an underline under its text okay in this manner you can take use of bold italic and underline tools now coming forward to border option if you want to make a border in this particular cell so you just need to go to this option and this drop down has different options available. For the time being, I am using thick outside border. Once you click it, you will find a thick outside border has been generated in this particular cell because the only cell we have selected, but not the others one. Suppose if I want to create borders for a range of cells, what you will need to do is you just need to click all the cells in which you want to make borders and again go to this drop down and select an, an, another tool sorry another uh, option in this drop down which is all border options once you click it you will find the difference that all the borders has got its uh, different sorry uh, all the borders has been generated for all the cells so in this manner you can create borders for a single cell as well as for a range of cells okay okay now the other tool is fill color and font color. The name is very similar, but working is slightly different. Fill colors generally makes fill to the background. It changes the color of background, but not the font color and font color changes the color of the text which you have written, but not the background color. Correct. So let's change the background color of this particular cell. As you can see the background color presently it is in white. And font color is it is in black so I'm just changing white to yellow it means I'm just filling color in the background I'm changing it to yellow so you can see it has been changed to yellow but the font color remains the same as it is black okay now if I want to change the font color I can do as well selecting this cell and going to this option which is font color I'm changing it to red as you can see font color and background both have changed so in this manner you can take use of uh, use of it uh, which is fill color and font color okay now the other option which is increase font size and decrease font size both you can do by this option which you can see as bold capital letter a in font group also you can use this drop down button for increasing and decreasing font uh, size of the text the smaller number you choose the smaller font size will be and the larger number you choose the larger font size will be see as i am changing the numbers through my cursor it is changing for the time being i am keeping it to 14 okay the next tool is font style ms excel provides a lot of styles for your text okay uh, suppose 
in this particular cell it is in calibri style and now i want to change it to another you can select this drop down and you can change as per your uh, required style i am changing it to algerian for the time being once i select you will find the difference between these two letters okay so in this manner we have just completed the font group and all the tools we have discussed in the next video we will discuss how to take use of alignment group using ms excel and how to do formatting for it okay so thank you so much for this video for more such videos you can subscribe our channel thank you so much